Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will made understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. Anyone? Can you find a minute to talk about, to talk with Mu'taz? Well, if you want to join me in Discord, he's welcome. Any Muslim? All right, we have Mu'taz, you want to join us? As-salamu alaykum, uh, sorry, As-salamu al-masih. As-salamu al-masih, Mark. You can say As-salamu alaykum because this is actually a bi biblical greeting. Muhammad, he started from yeah. the Christians, you know, when when the angels, they came to Mary, they said to her, Salam alaykum, Mary, Shalom to you, Mary, you know? Shalom. Yeah. Shalom, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Uh, CP, uh, how uh, are you? I'm are you good? I'm fine, thank God. Alhamdulillah. Uh, or, 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 or should I say, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> uh, by the way, I've been actually watching you for about a year and, uh, and a half. All right. And you are the reason why I actually accepted uh, the Lord Jesus Christ when you, when you had a debate with uh, Mimi Hijab and uh, Lady Dawa, and you showed them that Paul was actually a, a prophet, according to, I believe, chapter uh, 36 in, in the Quran, verse uh, 14. And, and, and then we strengthened them with a third. And according to Tafsir uh, Ibn Kathir, it says that uh, uh, this third prophet was actually Paulus, which means Paul, by the way, for, mm. for those who are not... Uh, Non uh, native uh, Arabic. Yeah. Uh, Paulus means actually uh, Paul. Uh, Botros, uh, which means actually Peter. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, CP, uh, your work is not going to waste. Your work is doing amazing, amazing work. I I don't want to take too much time uh, for, for you because it, it, it seems like you are busy. So, I'm going to make it very, very short. Um, my name is uh, Martez. I accepted uh, the Lord J Jesus Christ about like eight months ago. And I wanted to, to, to share that we, we right now in Saudi Arabia, in the city of Riyadh, we have built the first Coptic Orthodox Church. Wonderful. And also uh, right, so right how, now... Uh, so how have, now... How the, yeah. How the Christians they have a freedom in uh, in Saudi Arabia these days? Uh, right now, uh, there is a bit difficulties. I, I would say uh, right now uh, the 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 government are not really uh, aware that there are actually a Saudis that actually are Christians. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say there, there's about between uh, six to ten percent. Uh, that are Christians, but if we are talking about how many non-Muslims, no, I'm saying how like how the how the government is like. There is are they arresting people or as as before or if they are Christians well, uh, practicing or preaching? Well, yeah, uh, they are. Uh, they they used to uh, back in the early uh, early two thousand and nineteen, but right now not so much actually. Mm. So things are actually changing. Yeah, and I, know. I can, I, and yeah, and I can actually see that. But uh, the the thing that actually will also is going to change is that uh, Muhammad bin bin Salman, mm -hmm. which is the uh, the the prince, yeah, 
he's also uh, planning, uh, uh, he, he is planning to remove about 80,000 hadiths. And this is actually happening right now. Yeah. There's even a hadith that uh, are, actually, are actually sahih. But when you go to the sunnah.com, uh, it says it's da'if. So they are making da'if uh, or they yeah, are... Yeah, they, I mean, they, can, they, can, they can try, but they will never be succeed. The books is there. Yeah. You see, maybe this is, can happen if uh, if this has been done, let us say, a uh, few hundred years ago. There is only a few copy. Now with the internet, you publish something, it's all over the internet, that's it. Even the one who published it cannot take it back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, CP, I, I have a, one simple question though. Um, how can I prove the? How can I prove the, the, the Muslims that the Quran has been fabricated, not f fabricated in the English translation? Because that one is is very uh, easy for for me, you know. Because I I am a native Arabic, so I can read Arabic and I can read English, so I can see the the difference. But how can I show them the manuscripts that are different from each other? Uh, you see, first of all, for me, I prefer not to prove to any Muslim that the Quran is corrupted because that will make it easier for me to laugh at the Quran. Because if this is the book of Allah and it's not corrupted, and then we show how stupid it is, eh, what is the excuse? <laughs> he will say to me, my God is uh, stupid. You have no excuse. But if you say it's corrupted, they can say, okay, well, the Quran was good then. And this is not the word of Allah. This is somebody play with it. So it's better not to go to that direction. You know, uh, uh, you know, stay with the Quran is not corrupted. However, there's endless numbers, you know, of uh, of reference about corruption. Like if you want to go, if if it is necessarily, so you can go like as an example. There is, uh, you know, there is a a page. Let me see. Let me show you. Um, yeah, uh, okay, uh, just uh, give me a sec. There's a guy, uh, his name is, uh, hold on a sec. His name is Phoenix. Uh, he, he's saying that uh, this uh, ex-Muslim is a munafiq, which means hypocrite. Uh -huh. Okay, well, okay, uh, Phoenix, come here. Let's have a, a, a debate. Yeah. He, he was not there. <laughs> he is the hypocrite. He claimed to be a Muslim, but he did, they don't dare to, de to, to defend his cult. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, CP, uh, I also I want to let you know that uh, I did actually, I, I had a debate with uh, Lili Dawa and uh, Hamza Den, and I could not even last one minute uh, with these people, and boom, they banged. Because the, uh, the moment they heard that I am a native Arabic speaker and I quoted the, the verses in the in the in the Quran with with, the, with my uh, Arabic uh, dialect, yeah. they immediately banned. Yeah, so because, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. because simply yeah. you know, and a person who speaks Arabic is 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 a risk. Like this is why they agreed to speak to this uh, brother. His name uh, God Logic. Because he is he don't know Arabic, so they can they can play around. But the second they notice that the person he is an Arab and he speak Arabic, they will hide behind the rock immediately. Yeah, because uh, basically we, we are dangerous. Yeah. To these people. And not, not only that, they cannot argue with you. I mean, like uh, this Sari Dawa, he make fun of a Prophet, Prophet because he do not know, as he claimed to read the Quran. But can he himself read the Quran? <laughs> No, that's yeah. why they always go uh, attack the, the, the people who are not uh, Arabic. But once uh, an, an Arabic Christian comes in and debate, you will see them manifesting left and right. Yeah, they will they will escape. Uh, you know, like you mentioned, my uh, I did not debate uh, Muhammad Hijab. Uh, he hung up on me. I did not say anything. I could not even like he he says. Do you have a twenty second answer? <laughs> I mean, what, what, is, what is the debate here? Like, are you debating me, supposedly? And debate is, I ask you, you ask me. Not only you ask me. So they, they prepare themselves, supposedly. Uh, they, don't, they, are, they, they were very much intimidated. Uh, and that's why they will not let me talk. And they hang up on me, I don't know, seven, eight times. And he called yeah. all kind of names. 
and uh, then they played the video of this woman supposedly they will frame me make me look bad like uh, cp he said muslim uh muslim women have aids <laughs> but he cut the tape yeah, you know, yeah. the tape it was his sister she is obviously she is a whore she was saying that jesus he played with his mother boobs they cut that part yeah, very, yeah 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 I, I, i've seen it i've seen it yeah I, very I also, very I, I trashy mean, people low class people you know low class people mm, yeah i mean they, they are following their prophet uh Example. So I mean, yeah. I'm not really. They will not dare like this guy surprised. here, a uh, uh, phoenix. He keep yeah. talking. You know, he have a big mouth, but he don't dare to come to the mic and prove us wrong in anything we say. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I I think I asked you about uh, like uh, how can I you know prove that the 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 Quran false like like what is the biggest thing that on make the Muslim really think as uh, as an ex as an example hmm. Aisha she said uh, this is an example not limited uh, Aisha she said that uh, the chapter of Al-Hazab used to be equal to the chapter of the cow so there is 213 at least uh, verses or more are missing in one chapter alone and this is an authentic hadith can the Muslims accuse Aisha to be a liar? They cannot. This one chapter alone. And we know the, the cow chapter is the biggest chapter in the Quran. So if al Hizab was equal to it, you know, then the whole Quran is missing. And also uh, <laughs> you have uh, two two uh, missing uh, chapters, uh, I, I believe. Uh, Al-Bara'at wa Al-Musabbihat. Uh, there is, you know, first of all, the names of the uh, chapters uh, they have in today is not the same uh, as they have them before. Uh, but let me give you a website. I don't know this website is done by who, but it has a great collection. Maybe it's an ex-Muslim, I'm not sure. Uh, let me show you here. I will post it in the chat. In the YouTube? Uh, in Discord and in YouTube, I will post it. Okay. It have an, yes, please, uh, it, it have a lot yeah. of list. Uh, a lot of list. And all of this is a, is an authentic, you know. So you will notice here. Uh, this is only if you notice in the top. It says Bukhari. Bukhari, you know. So this is Al Bukhari alone. Imagine, this is all Al Bukhari. The page I'm giving you now is always speaking only about reference from Al Bukhari. I, I do not need this page for me because I remember them, but uh, I just search for you so you can have it in your hand. Uh, yeah. So you will see here as an example. Uh, if you go in the top. Uh, Yeah, you can read the hadith after hadith, you know. It shows you even the page number, uh, the reference, everything there. I mean, there is no there is no question about this. Is, the Muslim cannot say this is not authentic because this is Al-Bukhari too, you know. Yeah, and uh, also uh, I believe uh, you you had a, a, a website where you showed like, uh, oh wow, so I, I have to use... Uh, VPN to access the the link that you sent because uh, I believe it's banned here from Saudi Arabia. Ah, uh, okay. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, if it is banned, you can use. Uh, uh, maybe a mirror. Uh, search. Maybe you can search for a mirror uh, website. Search oh, for. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, uh, it's. Uh, type this. It's done. Yeah. It's done. I, yeah, I, uh, you can search for this I, hadith and you will find hadith, it. Yeah, this is hadith. This, the same website have tons actually, tons of uh, reference uh, of uh, of corruption in the Quran, and all of them they are correct. You know, all of them they are correct. All of them they are accurate. There is no like no fabrication, no lying, no Muslim can. Yeah, 
يعني كلها صحيحة. Uh, they, they are all uh, صحيح. Yeah, yeah. Right? There is صحيح. Muslim. There is all. You know, it's all over. Yes. He so, has, so I, actually I mean, this yeah. guy. This guy. He listed two hundred fifty-four reference. The total of two hundred fifty-four in his page only. Let me pause it again in in. Uh, the main page, uh, 254, let me open it here too. So there is 254 reference of the Quran corruption. If you, if you click at any, you can use Google translation to translate this page, the front mm -hmm. of it. Uh, how we can riwayat uh, at tashsim yeah but the, this is not really what it is about i think he i think he used this so he will let people uh, click somehow he's the you know the one who made this website mm -hmm. is, de is deceiving them you know so they will click so he's talking about uh, the uh, the stories about uh, allah uh, have body but this is not what it is this is about Quran corruption. So if you click, like as an example here, you see a hadith, wariwayat fi tahrib al Quran. This is Sahih Muslim now. The first link I gave you, it was what? Bukhari, right? This is here, yeah. Muslim. Yeah. So all those references here from Sahih Muslim. Muslim, uh, they cannot, they cannot say this is not like, true. This, I mean, this is fabricated. You know, this is very authentic, as you see. Uh, you go back. Uh, this is a Tirmidhi, and here actually he list like here seven four two one eight four fifty seven in a Suyuti alone. In a Suyuti, there is fifty seven reference of Quran corruption, fifty seven, and they are accurate, very accurate. As an example here, this is the hadith I told you about. Uh, uh, that the chapter of al, uh, the, the cow used to be equal to the chapter of al Ahzab, you know? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, we have hundreds of verses missing. <laughs> not, not, uh, yeah. not, uh, not one, uh, not two, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because I, I believe, uh, I know, uh, According to, to to Aisha, she was busy with the death of her uh, husband, the the prophet. She said that uh, a tame sheep uh, came and ate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, this is uh, you know this is one of tones, but like uh, uh, you see the first hadith here it says, some some of you might say, we have all the Quran, but who knows what all the Quran? Most of the Quran is gone, as you see in Arabic. You see in the top? Mm -hmm. You see? We took only what appeared to us. We have only what appeared to us. And this is a very wow. often. Yeah. So all, all those references here, you know, this is from Aisha. It's saying that uh, the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be 200 verses here in this, uh, you know. And now we have only what? 73? You know, 72 I, I 72 mean, 73 something like that yeah, yeah. Uh, so where is the where is the Quran but you know for me I don't uh, go there because why you want to prove the Quran is corrupt I mean you cannot corrupt the corrupt <laughs> right yep yep so, like you know if you say the Quran is corrupt somehow you are saying that the Quran was not corrupt which means there's a real Quran from God, you know, but we know that this is all fabrication, you know, hail come from mountains in heaven, and the sun set in murky water, and Zulkarnain, he put a wall between us and Gog and Magog, you know, and I do not need the, this drama of Quran corruption, no, leave it as it is, it's not corrupt, I like it, I like it the way it is, <laughs> stupid as it is, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 once exactly, I was yeah. debating a sheikh, actually, and in order to protect uh, his, his religion, 
he is the one who was saying to me, like each time I show him something, he said to me, oh, this is not, it cannot be from God, this is corrupted then. Hmm? But in the beginning of the video, he was saying to me, the Quran is absolutely not, cor not corrupt. As soon as I start showing him verses, you know, you know, they are stupid, and he speak Arabic, he starts saying to me, oh, obviously this is a, uh, now I agree with you, now I agree with you. Obviously the Quran is corrupt, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now he agrees with me. Before he don't agree with me. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, these guys, you know, are are just uh, amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like the the the, uh, the moment that you actually get them uh, busted, they will immediately find any any kind of way to tell you that oh no no no, uh, this is a uh, uh, life. What? What do you mean a uh, life? When you go that like uh, for example, uh, when I was having a, a debate with uh, Hamza Din on the satanic verses i told him that in the in the book al al no. that what happened to the prophets that the satan uh satan uh, cast these uh, verses uh, into him it was actually it says it's not the whole sahih and i i think i, I can share the the video uh, with you but uh, not right now uh, i believe uh, because you are busy so uh, i do not want to bother you well tell this Maybe, uh, tell this hamza to be a man and he to call me to five seconds. <clears throat> they spoke with some yeah. shamoon, but they don't dare to get close to me. I mean, they speak to everybody, but nobody want to get close to me. <laughs> <laughs> me too. He is busy. Always... He is busy selling women's lingerie for Muslims. <laughs> what a womanizer! Uh, I mean, I mean from, this, all the, uh... from all the business in the world, he could not find except selling women clothing. I mean. <laughs> That that that's a manly job for sure, you know. Yeah, very, very, very yeah. manly job. Yeah. Mashallah. And uh, I saw, anyway, I saw, me. I saw. Uh, yeah. He made the video uh, making fun of Sam Shamoon, saying like he, you know, he making personal attack in Sam Shamoon. He says Sam Shamoon he speak about beating wife in Islam, but didn't he himself beat his wife? <laughs> Which is very funny to say because. Uh, you know, nobody knows what happened between a wife and a husband. Same time, let's say for the sake of argument, if somebody did beat his wife, well, this is his bad doing, not just God bad teaching. In your, in your case, Abdul, it's your God teaching you to be the wife. So, it's still, everybody can speak against it. Uh, yeah, they, they try to direct the... Uh, instead of they cannot answer the person, so they start to make a personal attack, and you know. <clears throat> yep, yep, uh, exactly. And I, I also believe that uh, there is a, a hadith that, that uh, about the prophet. Uh, he uh, he said that if you if you uh, if you saw a a man beating his uh, his wife, don't ask him why. Yeah, no man should be asked why he is beating his wife. Yeah. Wow, I mean, uh, literally, uh, I believe Islam will teach men how to be gentlemen uh, for real. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, the, the you, you see, the the issue yeah. is, uh, mm -hmm. if there is something can make life better, I would say no problem. As an example, like when we when we punish uh, a rapist, uh, for sure, I I support the punishment. If we execute a killer, I support the punishment. If we uh, jail the thief, I, I support the punishment so he can learn. But if I beat my wife, is that going to make her a better wife? No. Absolutely not. She would hate me. And uh, now I created an enemy inside my house who God knows what she can do. She can cheat on you. She can put poison for you. I mean, she can kill you easy, you know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, I mean if, you know, this is the most... she is from the Middle East, yeah, uh, of course. Doesn't uh, matter, Middle East or not, women can go crazy, my friend. Don't you see how near, how long their nails? I mean, they have, high, they have high heels, they have long nails, and trust me, they are not for fun. Those are for use, you know. They grow them for use. They, this is why they... Oh. Like, yeah, I mean, they take supplement to grow Weapons. their nails. And their nails, they go. I saw, I saw them in, uh, you know, by my eyes. They go to a place. It's called salon, and there is a woman. She have a sharper, sharpen the nail for those women. So you go, you beat her, 
and then the food you you go to sleep and you are snoring <laughs> and then get ready for what can come there's a woman in San Francisco she found that her husband is a cheater on her she cut his she cut his penis you know Oh yeah, damn. she cut her okay. pe his penis and she throw it, and the guy he start chasing the cat. There's a cat, she grab it right away. <laughs> Never do that with women. I mean, they can and you are stupid. I mean, this is a place you sleep, you snore, you eat. She can kill you. She can cut your penis. She can do God knows what she can do to you. <laughs> you beat her, you idiot. <laughs> Like I can, I can beat my enemy because I am ready. I'm aware. I am armed. But beating my wife—that is the most stupid thing ever to do. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah. I mean, crazy, crazy, bro. I mean, these guys—they—they—they they, they don't uh, know the 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 things that will happen to them if they actually does does something like that. You know what I'm saying? There is an organization in Morocco. If you search right now for, uh, it's called Jamaiyat uh, al I think, against uh, violence. The the uh, men. Uh, I forgot the name. Men's uh, men's uh, institute uh, to defend men against uh, domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> In Morocco. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and also uh, there, there is one in Morocco, in Tunisia, and also uh, Egypt, a little bit there. You know, Egypt, in, Egyptian in women, Egypt. Egyptian women are very big, very big. Men usually are small compared to women. So one woman she can beat four men, easy, you know, easy, <laughs> easy. You know, if she fought, she can <laughs> throw you from the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> So you would have beat you would have beat your wife. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> oh man, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, <laughs> take a hike, Matas. Take care, brother. <laughs> All right, right. Yeah. you too, man. You All right, too. bye bye. Take care. <clears throat> I mean, how in the world anyone want to beat his wife? I mean, listen, you beat your wife and then you go to bed. You are dead. She can kill you. She can poison you. She can cheat on you. She can do whatever he wants. She wants revenge. She can go and give your Bitcoin password to you, to, to, to your neighbor. <laughs>